हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वाई वी आर वेलकम टू वाई वी आर मैथ्स ट्यूटोरियल लाइक प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अनदर वीडियो फोकसिंग ऑन एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू एवेल्युएट द इंटीग्रल्स इफ इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रल कॉस ए एक्स इंटू कॉस बी एक्स इंटू कॉस सी एक्स डी एक्स एंड इंटीग्रल साइन ए एक्स इंटू साइन बी एक्स इंटू साइन सी एक्स डी एक्स हियर ए बी सी आर नेचुरल नंबर सो फार वी हैव बीन इंटीग्रेटिंग सिंपल फंक्शन नाउ वी शेल लेन सम टेक्निक्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन विच विल एनेबल अज टू इंटीग्रेट सम वॉट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फंक्शन विच वी एनकाउंटर इन मैथमेटिक्स सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड Let's start the discussion about the concept how to evaluate the integrals if it is in the form of integral cos ax into cos bx into cos cx dx and integral sin ax into sin bx into sin cx dx here a comma b comma c are natural numbers Before moving forward please subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications of our latest updates To evaluate integrals of this type, we shall recall some standard formulae from trigonometry, which we learned in class tenth and eleventh. To evaluate this type of integrals, we should follow some trigonometric identities to express the products into sums. So we have already discussed in the previous two videos about four formulas. So to evaluate these type of integrals, we should recall that four formulas here also. So see here, we know that two sin a cos b is equal to sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. From this formula, sin a into cos b can be written as half into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. In the same way, we know the second formula, two cos a sin b is equal to sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b. By using this formula, cos a into sin b can be written as Half into sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. In the same way, third formula, we know that two cos a cos b is equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. From this formula, we can write cos a into cos b is equal to half into cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. In the same way, the fourth formula is we know that two sine a sine b is equal to cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. By using this formula, we can write sin a into sin b is equal to half into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So these are the four standard trigonometric identities which we learned in trigonometry from class 11. So by using these four identities only, we are going to solve this type of integrals. Based on these four identities, we learned few problems in the previous two videos. If you did not watch my previous videos I will give you the link in the description cards Now let us discuss few more models in this video by using these identities See here question number 1 Evaluate integral cos 2x into cos 4x into cos 6x dx So in the previous video we learned the problems if the given integrand is in the form of product of two trigonometric functions So in this video in the given integrand if we have product of three trigonometric functions then how to find the integration let us discuss solution of this one first of all we will consider the given integral as capital i then let i is equal to integral cos 2x into cos 4x into cos 6x dx so first of all from the given integrand you can take the trigonometric ratios in the decreasing order that means here in the given integrand we have three angles 2x 4x 6x we can take in decreasing order so see in the next step integral cos 6x into cos 4x into cos 2x dx so what i did students here just i taken the given trigonometric ratios in decreasing order of the angles okay now here the first two terms cos 6x into cos 4x i am considering as one combination then cos 2x dx is separate we know the identity 
So from this identity, we know cos A into cos B is equal to half into cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. So if you compare the given integrand with this identity, then here A is a 6x and B is a 4x. So in this identity, if we substitute A is equal to 6x and B is equal to 4x, then what we will get? See here in the next step, integral 1 by 2 into cos of 6x plus 4x plus cos of 6x minus 4x into cos 2x dx as it is. So for the first two terms alone, I applied this identity and the third term cos 2x as it is. If we simplify this one, then the next step is half into integral cos 10x plus cos 2x into cos 2x dx. If you observe here, product of two terms we have. So multiply these two terms. If you multiply these two terms, then what you will get? See here in the next step, half into integral cos 10x into cos 2x plus cos 2x into cos 2x dx. Now, by using basic properties of indefinite integrals, I am going to apply individual integrals. Then the next step is half into integral cos 10x into cos 2x dx plus half into integral cos 2x into cos 2x dx. So, if you observe this step, in both of the integrations, we have the product of two cos ratios. So, by using the same formula which we used in the previous steps, what we will get? See here, half into integral, half into cos of 10x plus 2x plus cos of 10x minus 2x dx plus half into integral, half into cos of 2x plus 2x plus cos of 2x minus 2x dx. So, how I got this step, students? By using this property. If we simplify this one, then the next step is 1 by 4 into integral cos 12x plus cos 8x dx plus 1 by 4 into integral cos 4x plus cos 0 dx. Here cos 0 value is 1. Now, I am going to apply individual integrals by using basic properties of indefinite integrals. Then the next step is 1 by 4 into integral cos 12x dx plus 1 by 4 into integral cos 8x dx plus 1 by 4 into integral cos 4x dx plus 1 by 4 into integral 1 dx because here cos 0 value is 1 that's why the last term we got integral 1 dx. If you observe the first three integrals, the first three integrals are in the form of integral cos of ax plus b dx form. So we know what is the integration of cos of ax plus b dx. So if we apply this formula in the first three integrals, then what we will get? See here in the next step, 1 by 4 into 1 by 12 sin 12x plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 sin 8x plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 sin 4x plus the last term integration is 1 by 4 x plus c. So just I applied this formula in the first three integrals. If we simplify this one, then the final step is 1 by 48 into sin 12x plus 1 by 32 into sin 8x plus 1 by 16 into sin 4x plus 1 by 4x plus c. So this is the final answer for the given integral. I hope you understand. Based on this concept, let us discuss one more model. See here, question number 2. Evaluate integral sin 2x into sin 4x into sin 6x dx. So in the previous question, the product of the trigonometric ratios are cos ratios. Now here, the product of the trigonometric ratios are sin ratios. Let us discuss solution of this one. First of all, we will consider the given integral as capital I. Then let I is equal to integral sin 2x into sin 4x into sin 6x dx. Like previous problem, here also we can take the given trigonometric ratios 
angles in decreasing order then what we will get see here in the next step sin 6x into sin 4x into sin 2x dx so just i taken here the angles in decreasing order here the first two terms i taken as one combination what are the first two terms sin 6x into sin 4x we know the basic properties from the trigonometry so by using the basic property we know sin a into sin b is equal to 1 by 2 into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b so from the given integrand what is a and what is b here a is 6x and b is 4x so in this identity if we substitute a is equal to 6x and b is equal to 4x then what we will get see here integral 1 by 2 into cos of 6x minus 4x minus cos of 6x plus 4x into sin 2x dx so just i applied this property to get this step if we simplify this one then the next step is 1 by 2 into integral cos 2x minus cos 10x into sin 2x dx here we have product of two terms in this integrand so if you multiply these two terms then what we will get see here in the next step 1 by 2 into integral cos 2x into sin 2x minus cos 10x into sin 2x dx by using basic properties of indefinite integrals i am going to apply individual integrals then the next step is 1 by 2 into integral cos 2x into sin 2x dx minus 1 by 2 into integral cos 10x into sin 2x dx so we know the basic property again here so by using this basic property we know cos a into sin b is equal to half into sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b here what is a and what is b in the first integral a is 2x b is also 2x in the second integral a is 10x and b is 2x so if we apply this property in these two integrals then what we will get see here in the next step 1 by 2 into integral 1 by 2 into sin of 2x plus 2x minus sin of 2x minus 2x dx minus 1 by 2 into integral 1 by 2 into sin of 10x plus 2x minus sin of 10x minus 2x dx so for both the integrals i applied same formula so by using this formula only we got this step if we simplify this one then what we will get see here in the next step 1 by 4 into integral sin 4x minus sin 0 dx plus 1 by 4 into integral sin 12x minus sin 8x dx by using basic properties of indefinite integrals i am going to apply individual integrals then the next step is 1 by 4 into integral sin 4x dx minus 1 by 4 into integral sin 12x dx plus 1 by 4 into integral sin 8x dx because here sin 0 value 0 that's why we got only the sum of three terms okay if we observe these three integrals in each integral we have sin of ax plus b function so we know the formula for integral sin of ax plus b dx so by using this formula what we will get see here in the next step 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 4 cos 4x minus 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 12 cos 12x plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 cos 8x plus c here c is the integral constant if we simplify this one then the next step is minus 1 by 16 cos 4x plus 1 by 48 cos 12x plus 1 by 32 into cos 8x plus c so this is the final answer for the given integral here i want to say one thing students if you observe here in this step i taken a combination sin 6x into sin 4x if you want to take the combination sin 6x into sin 2x you can take no issue or if you want to take the combination sin 4x into sin 2x you take no problem 
or if you want to take one more combination sin 4x into sin 2x you take no problem so if you take any combination you will get the final answer same so this point you have to remember students i hope you understand this concept till now we have discussed two different problems based on four identities so based on these two models i will give you three problems for self practice see here this is question number 3 and this one is question number 4 and question number 5 try to solve these three problems by using the given four identities if you did not get the idea to solve these three problems you can watch the video from the beginning and observe the solutions of two questions which we discussed till now i hope you understand this concept to get the notifications for updated videos subscribe this channel and activate bell icon thank you for watching this video drop a like and give a comment and share with your friends thank you thank you very much